In this video, we will discuss all the indicators available in Volfix. The full list is available in Setup Studies. The first of them, Bar Complete, shows the degree of bar completion as a percentage. Bar Size displays the size of each bar in pips. COT High Low is cumulative delta since making a new high low of each bar or retesting the previous one, displayed at the top and bottom of each bar. COT high is the cumulative delta since making a new high. As a rule, it is negative. COT low, delta since making a new low, as a rule, it is positive. When the price retests the high or makes a new one, the COT high will be reset and counted from the beginning. The indicator shows the market's reaction to a new high low. If we see a strongly negative COT high and price drop, we consider buyers refuse to buy at that price. And if COT high is negative but is growing at the moment, buyers are entering the market. In other words, they accept the new high and push the price up. The following function is GRID. It allows us to divide the chart by the needed time intervals. There is a separate video on how to set it up. The link is in the description. Heat map. Visual display of the depth of the market and its history. Each bid ask value of the order book corresponds to a specific color, which allows you to represent the depth of the market in the form of heat map. For example, Let's take the largest bid at the moment. It is 277 contracts, and it is displayed in the most saturated red color. At the same time, the smallest DOM values are colored in dark blue. The greater the intensity of the color in the heat map, the bigger bid ask value it displays. Using heat map, we can identify potential strong support and resistance levels. For example, one of the key prices to watch today is 47.30. Throughout the session, we see a lot of bids at this price. And a few words about the settings. Lower cutoff allows you to ignore 20% of the smallest DOM volumes. Upper cutoff makes the scaling and, thus, heat map colors more stable, not affected by extraordinary short-term sizes. Any volume above the critical value will correspond to the same color intensity. Horizontal histograms and vertical histograms. Video tutorials are already available on our channel. There we describe how to set up histograms. The link is in the description. TD Sequential the invention of the famous technical analysis trader Tom DeMarc. Its core function is to find the reversal point of an asset. When the price reaches the trigger condition for nine consecutive bars in the process of rising or falling, as a rule, the trend is considered to be exhausted and a reversal or correction is highly likely. As a disclaimer, we note that the indicator works only in combination with other market analysis tools preferably on high time frames, and cannot be used as the only signal for making a decision on the market. And this is how the indicator is calculated. If a bar closed higher than the close of a bar four periods ago, then this bar satisfies the first condition. And similarly, with the second bar, if it closed above the close of a bar four periods ago, condition two is also satisfied and the same with the remaining seven bars. When nine consecutive bars closed higher than the bars four periods earlier, the indicator shows the trend exhaustion and a potential reversal. A line is drawn on the ninth bar, which shows a trend reversal. In Volfix, you can configure the display of only the ninth digit for convenience. In the settings, we indicate nine, 
and the rest disappear. This indicator is especially effective for range markets. It can also be used in a trending market, but differently. The levels displayed by the indicator can be used as mirror levels for a trend following strategy. For example, in this case, the indicator shows a reversal. But at the same time, we see that the market is very bullish today. Thus, we can use these levels for trend trading. But again, we recommend using it as an additional tool to your core strategy. Time frame to settings. These are volume profiles for selected time intervals. This function is activated on the control panel. And here, we can customize these profiles. A detailed guide to all the settings is available in the video by the link in the description. TPO Cluster Activation of TPO lines or value area in each bar displays the area where most of the volumes were traded. TWAP Time Weighted Average Price it is a trading indicator based on weighted average price, which shows the average price of an asset during a specific period without considering the volume of trades, unlike VWAP. Unfinished Auction The main logic of the indicator is quite simple. First, let's open a chart with bid-ask clusters. Each bar represents a separate auction where sellers and buyers meet. We can observe the results of the auction on the volume profile. A new high is correctly formed if zero contracts are traded at the bids. In other words, in the Sell Buy cluster, also known as Bid Ask, there are zero contracts on the sell side. This means that buyers have stopped adding their bids. No more people were willing to buy at this price. And the auction is considered finished. And similarly, for the downtrend, the auction will be considered finished when zero contracts are traded at the low of the bar at asks, that is, on the buy side. No people are willing to place sell orders. If there are traded contracts on the high, low of the bar, both on the sell side and on the buy side, the bar is closed, having formed a high and a low, then this situation is called an unfinished auction. And since, at the high of the bar, buyers were ready to buy, then there is a possibility that the price will retest this level to complete the auction process. Such situations are marked on the chart with a line automatically, even if another type of cluster is used, for instance, volume. The indicator should be used only in combination with other market analysis tools. It cannot be the only signal for opening a position. Volume Fixing It helps to find the total traded volume at a given interval at a given price. Let's look at an example. First we choose what we count, volume, delta, or the number of trades. Next. Select the interval for which the volume will be calculated. The tick size determines how many price levels are taken into account. In other words, if you select a tick size of 2, the volume will be calculated by summing up two price levels. Next, enter the volume values, let it be 2,000 contracts. Also, you can specify the working time, line type, and set up alerts. Click New and close the window. And how does the indicator work? Since we have chosen a 30-minute time frame, the indicator divides the chart into 30-minute intervals. 
And if one of the prices for a 30-minute interval reaches 2,000 contracts traded volume, then this price is marked in the chosen color. Note an important function. Max value only. If it is activated, then only the price with the maximum volume for the interval will be highlighted. For example, if 3,000 contracts were traded at one price and 2,500 at another, only the maximum price would be displayed. And with the help of this indicator, we can look for those prices that attract a lot of volumes as a potential support or resistance level or as a strengthening of the existing level. VWAP is a technical indicator that measures the average price of a security based on both the price and volume of trades over a specified period. It is calculated by totaling the dollars traded for every transaction, price multiplied by the volume, and dividing by the total volume. VWAP is used as an additional tool designed primarily for intraday trading and showing a weighted average volume price. Also, you can set deviations for the VWAP line as a percentage or in pips. That's all for now. If you have any additional questions regarding indicators, please get in touch with our technical support by the contacts in the description. Thank you for your attention.